Racial covenants at one time, they prevented people of color from buying homes in the Twin Cities. These discriminatory practices are no longer in place, but the language still exists on the property records of thousands of homes. Now there's an effort underway to change that. Really, the conversation was how can we do something that can foster change? Jamar Hardy of Adina Realty is one of the founding members of Just Deeds, an initiative shining a light on a dark chapter in Minnesota history. We are the sequel to mapping, right? So if mapping didn't do all the great work that they've done right out of the university library system, we wouldn't probably exist. He's referring to Mapping Prejudice, a project that a few years ago unearthed racial covenants written into property deeds dating as far back as the early 1900s. The language that's in there really is about if you're uh, somebody of white descent, you have all the rights. If you are not white, um, they don't necessarily want you to buy in certain neighborhoods. Race-based property restrictions were banned in the 1960s, but the language on some deeds still exists to this day. The average homeowner, property owner is not going to see it, right? It really does take some additional digging. Just Deeds is now working with nearly a dozen cities across the metro to help homeowners remove discriminatory covenants for free. Maybe for some people, they're not ready for that reckoning, but for those that are, we're providing a pathway for them to educate themselves and move things forward. Hardy says that the impact of those racial covenants still exists to this day. For more information about Just Deeds, just head to justdeeds.org.